All right, what is up guys? Neon or Zerx here and welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to texture a Fortnite character model in UEFN. So here's an example of what we're going to be doing today. Uh, this is the jewel skin from Fortnite. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys step by step on how to texture it completely front and back from head to toe, everything. Okay, first things first, we need the model. So I went on Sketchfab, which is a common place for a lot of people to go to that need character models or just models in general. Um, I found this character model of Jules. Um, we're going to be using this one in today's video because I know that this one works. I already tried it. So um, I'm going to be leaving the links to both of these in the description, the website and the, the, the model itself. So once you have it open, go ahead and scroll down uh, right under the, per the person's profile. Uh, you're going to want to click this button right here that says download 3d model so once you open that um it's going to prompt up this page uh basically it's just asking what format you want to download in we are looking for the fbx format which is the first one so you're going to want to click the download button and then once you click that it's going to start downloading it over here whether you are on windows or mac so just wait for it to download and i'll see you in a little bit okay so now that it is finished you're going to want to go ahead and click on the file that just finished downloading and you're going to want to click and drag it onto your desktop. So once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to right click on it and then click extract all just like that. Go ahead and extract it. Then when it opens up this one, go ahead and click on source again, right click on this one, the, the jewels one, and then click extract all once again, wait for that to finish. And then once you do it the second time and this second page opens up, you can go ahead and close it. And then let's go back into UEFN. So here, the goal of our video is we're going to try and recreate this model that you see right here. So we're going to do it again completely from scratch. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So uh, first things first, uh, open up your content drawer. It should be on the bottom left of your screen. It'll bring up this little menu here. Um, I already created a folder for where we're going to do this. But if you don't know how to do that, you basically just right click and you click new folder. You can call it whatever you want. I called mine tutorial just for the sake of the video. Uh, but yeah, once you have it uh, created and you have it right here, uh, go ahead and click on import right here. And then once you have it imported, go ahead and go to your desktop. So once you're on your desktop, you're going to want to look for the file that we just downloaded. Mine is right here, the Jules Fortnite skin. Uh, go ahead and click on it. And then it's going to open up this. Go ahead and click on source jewels source again and then you're going to get this right here which this is the model so i want to hi highlight this one you can click open or you can just double click on it i'm going to click open then you're going to get this inside of uvfn um just to be safe i like to click reset to default uh but once you do that you can go ahead and click import all give it a second and it'll import everything uh you can just clear all this this is an important go ahead and close out of it um, and then right here, as you can see, we have our physics asset and we have our skeleton. So you can go ahead and open this. And as you can see, we have our model. So go ahead and close out of it right there. And then we can pull out the physics asset right here. And okay, this one is really big. So what we're going to want to do, click on the resize tool right here on this little menu and click on the white cube. And then hold and scroll down just like that okay so now we have a nice size right here normally you're going to want to make it smaller but just to make it easier to see i made it a lot bigger so here now we have the model so now obviously we need the textures because you know this isn't gonna this doesn't look that nice it's just all white so go ahead reopen the content drawer it should just automatically open up your folder that you just made and go ahead and go back to import. Uh, we're going to go back to the original file. So just click on this one, which is the original file name. So once you're back here, um, click on source, click on jewels. And then this time, instead of clicking source, you're going to want to click textures. So here, um, all the textures are going to come out. So these are going to be the textures for the body. These are going to be the textures for the hair and for everything else. So what you want to do, uh, go ahead and just highlight everything so just select click and drag and then click open and just give it a second as you can see it's going to start to import all of the textures okay and now they're all done so now 
pay attention to the three spheres over here. This one's not important for the video. Uh, these three. So as you can see here, I'm probably going to put an arrow on the screen to make it easier to see. But as you can see, all three of these spheres have a special code, which is body, base accessory, and head. So let's go ahead and start off with the body. So we're going to be texturing the body. Uh, double click on it, and then you're going to see this page right here. So as you can see here, by default, every model is going to have a just blank white texture. So obviously, we don't want that. So you're going to want to click on it and then click the delete or the backspace button. And then here, go ahead and make the page smaller. Reopen the content drawer, and then we're going to look for all the textures. So all the textures have their own name as well. And as you can see here, if you pay attention to the name, you're going to see that it also says body. So this is a body texture. But now what we want is we want to find every texture that has the word body in it. So here, I want to quickly just look through all of them. And it looks like the first four are the ones that have it. So I'm going to click on the one farthest on the left, hold the shift button, and then go to the last one. And then while holding shift, I, mount, I, I left click. Then you can click and drag, drag them into the, the smaller window and go ahead and make the, the, the window big again. So here, now we have all four of these textures inside of the body. So go ahead and click on the blue tab right here. Go ahead and space them out. Give yourself some space to breathe. And now we have all four of the textures separated. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna click on it and then go down here to the bottom left where it says texture and just hover over this right here. And then as you can see here, we can see the name of all of the textures again, except this time we're gonna pay attention to the isolated letter around the end of the name of the texture file. So this one is an N right there. So once you see the N, you're gonna wanna go to the RGB slider right here and you're going to want to drag it over to the file that it's supposed to be over here. So it's N, so it's going to stand for normal. So now we'll do it again. We're going to click on this one and hover over here. And this one is S, uh, isolated letter is S. So this one stands for specular. And the last one over here um, is going to be D. And D stands for base color. So this is probably the most important texture file. Without this one, your character's texture is going to look all weird and goofy. So make sure you always have the D uh, highlighted in here. And the reason why I'm not putting this one is because this is an M file, meaning it's a metallic file. I almost never put in this one if it's not a character that has metal or if it has a weapon, if it has like... Uh, metallic on the character because it makes the skin look metallic and glossy and, and it looks all weird so for this one specifically i'm not going to put it but if you did if you were using a character like omega or something uh you would put it under the metallic but since we don't have that so we're going to right click and go ahead and break the node link to get rid of it so once we're done with this one go ahead and click apply on the top left always make sure you click the apply button because if you don't it's not going to save now once we have that done uh, you can go ahead and click on the X. And as you can see here, the character now has the textures on the body. You can see like that. Now, we still have to do the hair and the face. So let's go ahead and do that. It'll basically be the same process. So here, the next one is going to be the face accessory. In most cases, that usually just means it's the hair or like parts that are on top of the the character's head like sunglasses or like a sunflower or something like that so yeah uh go ahead and get rid of the white file again uh make it smaller and same thing here you just look for all the files that have base accessory inside of them go ahead and click on it and then look through all the files this is the last one hold shift and then click again or you can just do it each one individually however way you want i just prefer to do it that way because it's a lot faster it's more efficient yeah, go ahead, separate all the files, click on the blue click on the blue tab, and then like here, 
See, this is a metallic file. I'm not going to put this one because it'll make the character look weird since it's not using any metal. This is a normal file because it has N in it. And I'll also leave the code names for this at the bottom just in case anybody wants it if it's easier that way. So yeah, click the next one. This is S for specular. And D, the most important one, base color. Once you have all of them, you can also see on the left side over here where I'm rotating the sphere. This gives you a preview of what the texture actually looks like. Now, it is just a ball, so it's kind of hard to see it. But usually, sometimes when you make a mistake, you can tell by just going here, by just looking here and you don't actually have to click off of it and do all that over again. So yeah, make sure you click apply and you close out. And then as you can see here, the hair is not finished. The goggles also has a texture and the nose ring also has it. So very cool. Um, and lastly, we have the face or the head in this case. So same thing, just get rid of the white file, make it smaller, find all of the face files. So that's a face file. That's a face file. That's a face file. And that's a face file. Okay, so th th these are different. This is for something else. We don't, we're not going to use these. Um, so yeah, you drag it here. And you have all four of these. You basically just do the same thing. This is going to be a default. I don't even have to check that. Usually you can tell by just it looking like the character itself. This is N. And then this one should be specular. Yes, so specular right there. Again, we're going to leave out the metallic file. We don't need it. Um, apply. So once you have it applied, go ahead and exit out. And as you can see, the character is now fully textured head to toe, just like the one over here. You can do this with a bunch of other characters as well. There is a method where I can show you guys how to use any skin in Fortnite because Sketchfab doesn't have every character. And sometimes the, the ones that they do have there are broken. They don't work. I can show you guys how to do any skin. Um, I can also show how to do animations and how to actually move the bone structures around. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys all later.